Hi guys, I'm Bobsy, and in this video I'm going to show you how you install Pernet. We have three different ways that you can get Pernet into your project. And we do actually go over this in our documentation here. So in our documentation, under guides and installation and setup, we go over the three ways that you can get Pernet. Now the first one and the most obvious one is that you get it from the Unity Asset Store. Now this is obviously as straightforward as getting anything else from the Asset Store. However, I feel like it's important to mention that the Asset Store is likely a bit inferior to the two others. The reason for that is on the Unity Asset Store, it does take some days to release an update, which means that you will likely have a more updated version if you get it through one of the two other options. So going through the Asset Store, easy as always, and I don't feel a big need to show you how to import that. Now the next ones are the Git package import or through the package manager with Git. So my personal favorite is through the package manager with Git. And now in the docs, if you're on this page, you simply just copy the URL here I have in the code brackets. And once you've copied that, you go to Unity, you go to your window and to your package manager. Now I'm in Unity 6, so the package manager might look different for you if you're in Unity 5, but regardless, it's gonna be the same thing. So there should be a plus or an add in the top left. If you click that, you can see install package from Git URL. Now, if you drop that down and I paste in the URL and I just press install, and now it'll install Pernet from the Git. This is my preferred way of doing it. And this is how I recommend you do it. This also makes it very easy to keep it updated. The only thing you need to do is just once again, open your package manager and hit this little update button here. And it'll pull once again from the Git to make sure that it stays updated. Now that it's fully imported, you can see now we have Pernet in our project. There's nothing really to see, but if I go and set up the network manager as you normally would, which I cover in a further tutorial, you can see if I just search for network manager now, we have the network manager and all the other Pernet components. Now, another way to also get it is through the Git package. So if we go back to the documentation, you can see the Git package import also has a little link here. If you do also just go to our Git, which is out here, you'll, get, you'll be able to go to the same page by seeing releases out here and just clicking on the latest release. This was the page that we would have been taken to regardless. And if you just simply click on the top file here, which will be called Pernet version something, if we just click on that, we'll download the file. And if you click to open the file, you'll be prompted in Unity to import it. So you can see now it asks if you want to import Pernet into your project and you can just simply hit import and you'll have Pernet imported into your project as well. Again, both of these will get the latest pull from GitHub. So whichever one of these latter two options you go with really results in the same. I personally just find it easier to stay updated by just going to the package manager and hitting update. And it's really as easy as that. Now you're ready to get going with the following tutorials on how to use Pernet. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please do leave a like, comment and subscribe. If you ever have any questions to Pernet, feel free to leave them in the comment section and also join our Discord for more direct support. Other than that, I hope that you have a wonderful day.